the new dawn of a new day and a new week in New York City. But still there's nothing to pierce the horror of death and destruction, which still hangs over this proud city like a dark cloud. It's the sixth dawn since the twin plane terror at the Twin Towers, and the morning when the city tried to respond to calls from Mayor Rudy Giuliani to get back to work, to get back to some sort of normality. But new pictures of the devastation show just how far away any normality is for New York, with the financial core of the Big Apple having been scythed away with only two stumps remaining. This morning thousands of people were still taking part in an enormous search operation in a downtown area they call Ground Zero. Onlookers could only stare in bewilderment as massive girders were removed from the scene. Here at Ground Zero, they're still calling this a rescue mission, but the reality is that no one has been pulled alive from the rubble since last Wednesday, and that tells its own tragic story. But hope, as they say, springs eternal, and nowhere more so than here. For the rescuers say they won't give up. This exhausted Irish-American fireman and other rescue workers said the scenes inside Ground Zero were too appalling to describe. Horror. Yeah. You don't know what's going on with the world, and you got to worry about uh, have to worry about uh, brothers in there dying. You know, it's horrible. Not, not the shame. I'm not the shame person. You know, I turn to God and pray every day, and just hope that people are going to be all right. But you know, the way uh, days are going on and on, and it looks worse and worse. There must be a lot of your colleagues in there. Yeah, there's there's a lot of firemen in there. You know, in there, a lot of police, a lot of civilians, innocent people for no reason at all. What's it like in there? It's pretty unspeakable. What can I tell you, man? It's, it's hell over there. It looks real bad, real bad. You know, you feel it. You know, it's, it's nothing like on TV. Is there any chance that anyone else is going to be pulled out alive there? Uh, very slim. Very, very, very slim because there's still smoke in the bottom, there's heat in the bottom still. There are times that uh, 30 feet flames will come up. So there's still smoke and there's still heat in there. And for somebody to come out alive in there, it gotta be a miracle from God, man. Despair, yes, but defiance too, with a virtual sea of stars and stripes everywhere you look. And thousands of New Yorkers poured off the subways this morning to return to their offices. I'm ready. I'm ready to go back to work and um, do what we have to do. That's it's going it. to be a very difficult day. Yeah. I'm actually thrilled that we're open. I'm thrilled that the stock exchange is open. I think that it's giving the message that we need to give, that we're, you know, back in business. America's great. It's back in business behind me, but even here in Wall Street, six days after the World Trade Center, the smell of smoke still hangs heavy in the air. People are still walking up and down the street wearing masks or covering their noses with handkerchiefs. Just yards away from where the World Trade Center once stood, emotional welcomes this morning for Irish men who kept their restaurant open at the height of the disaster. It was just the streets were just covered in like a fine, fine like dust. Everything was covered in dust. People were just running around. They didn't know what to do. They were just in panic. It was terrible. It was really, really bad. There's two planes, people must have been terrified of even more. Oh, it's terrible. The first one everybody thought might have been an accident, and then when the second one came in, everyone knew that there was something, you know. But it was just devastating. Everything that's been happening here has been devastating. The whole area is flat over there, it's completely flat. There's nothing left. It's like, it was like it was snowing. Very dark outside, dust falling from the sky. Pretty scary stuff. Makeshift shrines are on every corner in New York, and everywhere a TV crew go, someone tries to get them to film photos of missing loved ones or friends. Hundreds of pictures adorn the walls of St. Vincent's Hospital, where many of the injured were treated. But it's dreadful images like this, the so-called missing persons wall in Manhattan, which certainly hammers home the scale of the disaster here. The morning newspapers were reporting today that the number of people confirmed dead or missing now stands at 5,537. And that's nearly twice as many people as have been killed during 30 odd years of troubles back home. Ivan Little, UTV Live, New York City.